So good morning. I wanted to um, share with you something that I think we should think about when it comes to um, our forming into a relationship. Um, so if you think about it, when we form into a relationship, um, it's cr it's almost like the Polaroid pictures. Do you remember back in the day when we had Polaroid pictures and we would snap the picture and then we would have to wait for its development? That's the same thing with relationships. We are doing a lot to make these relationships work to fit into the dynamic we want to um, structure our life in. And I think... We mean well by trying to focus on how our relationship is going to work or what we desire in relationships. And I think it's fine, but I also think it's very imperative that we stop for a minute and realize that when we used to take Polaroid pictures, we would have to take the picture and then we would have to wait. We would have to wait to see what it's going to look like, what it's going to develop into. And so um, that's very, that's a very good example, I think, with the confines of relationships. When we first start to um, become in a relationship, a lot of times we want to start making plans and doing things and and starting to get the relationship to form the way we want it to form. And is it going to be this? Are we going to become that? And then we begin to do what? We begin to rush it, which is very symbolic to what we used to do with the Polaroid picture, where we would shake it to get it to hurry up and hurry up and develop. And we would shake it as hard as we could because we thought if we shake it, uh, the picture would come, come in quicker. Is that the truth? I don't know. But that's what we thought when we were young, trying to get those pictures to hurry up and develop. The same thing we do in relationships. We tend to want to rush to develop it. We want to rush to claim it. We want to rush to be what we say we're going to be. We're going to verbally express where we're at with each other. And so... Um, I think it's important <clears throat> that we, <clears throat> excuse me, that we think about, first of all, wherever we be, whatever we become and design and become and design to, <clears throat> whatever we develop and become, um, it happens on its own. You know, we can't rush a baby to be here. A baby develops in the womb in its own time. We can't go in there and start elongating our children's arms and legs before they're ready to develop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can't try to rush and create things before it's time. So we need to be mindful that that applies in relationships. Relationships have, by design have to create what they're going to be on their own so as we're you know developing into certain relationships we need to, I know that currently we have a lot of conversations about mono, uh, monogamy we have conversations about polygamy we have conversations about open about all kinds of relationships there's all kinds of structures out here that are dope for some that are cool for others, that aren't so hot. There's all kinds of styles of relationships, right? But I want people to understand that the functionality or the, um, the inner workings of those relationships work best based upon the individuals in them. What does that mean? That means that when you're in a relationship with someone, that is functional, okay, if you will. They master their feelings. 
They master what they're doing with themselves. They're self-preserving. They're always self-reflecting and they're doing the work for them and they're loving themselves properly and within balance. And you meet this person and you get involved with them in whatever dynamic it is be it that it's open, be it that it's mono, be it that it's poly, whatever the relationship dynamic it is, you place a person in that dynamic, in those opt, opt, optimal relationship styles, that person can function and be very good at being uh, in that type or style of relationship because it really comes down to individuals. It's not necessarily coming down to what style that works, it comes down to what the individuals that are in it are doing. Are they able to function? Are they able to um, focus on themselves? Are they loving themselves? All of these things has to be in play and be mastered in order for those styles of relationships to work. Because if you put a dysfunctional person in a, mono, uh, in a monogamous or mono relationship, it's going to be dysfunctional. If you put a dysfunctional person in a poly relationship, it's going to be dysfunctional. If you put a person, toxic, dis, dis, dysfunctional person in a um, poly relationship, it's going to be dysfunctional. The workings and inner workings and functionality of any relationships depends on the individuals. I know we want to talk about how great or pitch which relationship style is the best or the most trending and that's all well and fine but we have to understand that you put a dysfunctional toxic person in any of those relationship styles the relationship isn't going to be functioning i don't care what you do i don't care i can promote we can promote how great poly mono open is but if you put a dysfunctional or you have dysfunctional individuals in those styles of relationship, you're still going to have problems, issues, and concerns, and it's not going to be working in the best way it could because of the individuals involved. We spent a lot of time on this, so I just wanted to give you a little nugget this morning. Be mindful, okay, that no matter what type of or style of relationship you are in with someone, if you are not functional and able to master your feelings, you're not able to master how you function and self-reflect, the relationship styles, I don't care what they are, are not going to be functional or harmonious. And you're going to have many, many days of havoc and aggravation. It's just what it is. So I just wanted to drop this nugget this morning, okay? So just be mindful. It's not about the style of relationship. It's more about individuals that's involved. Are they mastering their feelings? Are they self-reflecting? Are they very good as far as problem solving? If they're good at those things, they're, very, they're going to be functional with whatever they are, whatever style they're in. Because that relationship is based upon the functionality of the individuals. Not necessarily the style of relationship itself. All right, guys. I hope this helped. This is Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a great day, guys. Bye.